everyone. This is uh, Tim with developyourenergy.net. I'm the uh, web developer, hoping to get everything up and running. And thank you very much for your uh, time and patience and, and using the site as we get it to be a little bit more user friendly. Uh, this is our first podcast, and we're talking out with the uh, originator of developyourenergy.net, uh, Kyle Batiste. He's here right now and is going to be answering some questions about the the, the website. Uh, Kyle, thank you so much for your time and being here tonight. How are, how are you doing? Doing great. Doing great. Everything's going good. How are you doing? Excellent. Excellent. Um, we got our audio situation figured out here and uh, things sound pretty clear. So let's get right into it. Um, how long have you been practicing uh, Qigong and how did, how did you start? How did you begin? Um, let's go. Well, how I began. Well, first, um, I used to do martial arts. Well, I still do martial arts. Um, and I would, you know, watch these kung fu movies and you'd see how, you know, these guys would, uh, break bricks. And then, you know, I look, start looking it up on YouTube and doing research and, you know, words like Qi Gong, Qi Power, um, you know, start coming up. And so I did a little bit more research into that, um, Qi Energy. You know, Qigong exercises, and then, you know, I found some courses, several different courses online, started to practice with the several different courses, um, really started seeing more of my success when I met uh, my instructor, Sifu Daniel Ferreira. Um, I emailed him online for, you know, corresponding for about, uh, about a year, and then from there, um, you know, I got to a point where I started, you know, telling them some of the stuff that was happening to me, some of the side effects from the exercises, and, you know, when I say side effects, there were really <laughs> some really cool stuff that was happening, and he said, okay, it's time for us to talk, so then once I started talking to him, um, you know, my training really just, you know, started to take off, and, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with it since. I've been training for about six, going on about seven years, um, at different points in my training, I would train anywhere from you know, an hour a day to sometimes three hours when I can. Um, but my average training time is about an hour. Sometimes I can only do 45 minutes. Um, but I also, um, you know, train different times of the day while I'm working. Um, you know, there's also, we've, we've got a ton of exercises. So there's little exercises that you can do while driving in your car. That'll build chi. So, you know, whenever I can get a training session in, whenever I can interact with the um, life force energy, you know, I try to. So, but uh, yeah, that's how you know we started the 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 the, the web. Well, well, that's how I got into Chi. Um, the website happened uh, as a result of um, me just getting into this stuff, and I always wanted to sell stuff online. But I I wanted to sell stuff that you know, or sell something, or should I say that you know that was that was close to me. You know, uh, I believe the more passionate you are about something, the better. Um, you can sell it, um, and the better you can help other people with it because you're doing it out of, out of a place of love because it's, it's important to you because you love what you're doing. Mm-hmm. So um, basically, um, you know, Dan um, showed me these courses and said, hey, you know, I got these courses uh, I, I've created. Do you want to sell them? <laughs> I said, he said, yeah, why not, man? So we start selling them, and at first, you know, we didn't really sell a lot, and then we start selling more, and then we start selling more, and you know, we we've got uh, the the pleasure of interacting and dealing with a lot of um, curious individuals and um, good people who are interested in qigong. Uh, we've got to help a lot of people along the way, which is you know real uh, rewarding, um, and because uh, it's just really good to see people uh, take the information, use it, and benefit out of it. You know, just like you have. And, you know, whenever you can show somebody something or teach someone something, especially as it relates to chi, you know, the karma on that is just, you know, not only really pleasurable, but the karma is really good. So, mm-hmm. what are like, what are some of the uh, experiences that that have happened to you since you started practicing, and then, uh, and maybe even just with the website itself? Well, you know what, a lot of a lot of, uh, a lot of things that I experience kind of just, you know, with kind of spontaneously happen, you know, like uh, one time I was sitting at a dinner table and it was, you know, family table, you know, we were all sitting down and um, somebody was talking about something and the 
this conversation develop, and I wasn't really speaking. I was just kind of in my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, I, and I found that the things I was saying in my head, like, towards different people. So, like, let's say somebody says something, and I think something in my head as a response to what they, what they were saying, but I, would, I wasn't verbalizing it. They would actually say what I was thinking, which was pretty weird, and then, like, you know, after it kind of like happened one or two times, I just started focusing on different people. And, you know, they, <laughs> they started, it was it was the weirdest thing, like like stuff like that, you know. Um, uh, being in the right place at the right time, like almost all the time. Um, healing, uh, I had the opportunity for the first time. Um, I started doing chi. I'm all gun ho about it, not really realizing how weird this stuff can be <laughs> to people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, you're walking around, and you're like all in the energy, and people are kind of looking at you like this guy's in that case. Um, but there was an individual at my job who was, uh, she was coming down with the food. She was going to go home, and we were going to have the uh, company dinner that we have once a year. And so she was like, you know, I'm not feeling good. I said, hey, you know, I've been working on this thing, and I learned how to do this in martial arts. Um, you know, I just told her something, you know, just, just let me try this on you. So I took my hand and I put it maybe like it was like three inches over her forehead. So I wasn't touching her, my hand I was just kind of hovering over her, oh, hovering over her, excuse me. And um, I just kind of pulled some energy and she said it felt like the sickness was like butterflies um, that was in her stomach and it flew up her stomach, out of, up, up her stomach to her chest up her throat, past her throat, up and out of her forehead. And she said, she I mean, the whole time I was doing it, she was like, oh my God, that's weird. Oh my God, what are you doing? Oh my God, what are you doing? That's so weird. So it was, you know, little stuff like that. Um, and then from there, like, and that was actually after my first year of training. So, you know, folks, if you guys are, people are doing these exercises and they're doing them properly, they are, and they're, and they're taking the time to actually cultivate with, with these techniques that we're teaching. Um, that have actually been taught for thousands of years. Like, we're not giving you something that's just, you know, brand new. You know, and a lot of, you know, energy cultivation techniques and energy systems, you know, it's, they put a new spin on it, but it really is just something new. It, it, I mean, excuse me, it's really not new. You know, you might tell me um, the technique a new way, but a lot of the techniques are, are mostly all of our techniques are techniques that were used by the ancient masters. Um, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, from there, I started doing energy healing, um, was getting really good benefits from that, um, or results, should I say, from that, um, you know, and, you know, we got a couple 